Boru Boyai, Boru Boshe, to all you guys out there on YouTube. Um, I want to say uh, hello to all you guys and thank you for all your support. And, you know, once again, I don't mean to be repeating myself, but I do this for you guys. You know what I mean? I don't do this for myself. I do this for you so you guys can learn something and hopefully you can take benefit out of that and use it in your daily life. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Osain and uh, the importance of Osain. You know, Osain, a lot of people underestimate Osain. You know, they hear Chango, Ogun, Orula, you know, and they're like, yeah, that's a, they think, you know, Osain is just a nobody, you know, but I, I don't want nobody to get it twisted. You know, Osain is a, one of the most powerful Orishas there is, you know what I mean? You figure... When we mix Yerevas, we have to invoke Osain. Let me tell you a little bit about Osain. He is the sickest um, brujo in the religion. He, Because he knows all plants. You know what I mean? There's a patiki where uh, him and Chango were actually, you know, arguing. And Chango took out his leg and his eye. You know, but uh, Osain knows all the Yerevas. He had some of the Orishas in Brujao. So, you know, Osain is very important, and you can't work some of the Orishas like you can work Osain. Osain is, you know, for Baba Laos, Osain is, you know, ma fuerte, you know what I mean? So, and the thing is with Osain, we invoke him for all the herbs, you know. We do the cantos to Osain when we're doing herbs for Mano de Orula, for initiations into Ocha, to Ifa. <laughs> you know, but one thing I want to let all you guys out there who are, you know, it may be interested in getting Osain, you know what I mean? You cannot let girls around Osain, your wife can't be around Osain, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, <clears throat> he's a very strong Orisha, you know? That's why Baba Laos, we don't even need to do brujeria back, we just do Ibo. Ibo and, pff, you know, if somebody does something wrong, you know what I mean, and they're trying to do black magic to us, we just do Ibo, and that'll reverse it all, and it'll just go back right to them, you know? But don't, you know, yeah, we can do, you know, other things too. But that's why, like my padrino, he just tells me, you know, Ahalo, just do Ibo. Just do Ibo. Just do Ibo. Just do Ibo. You know what I'm saying? Because Ibo is, <clears throat> you know, that's a thing about Baba Laos. You know what I'm saying? Every time we get up in the morning and we salute Orula, you know, and we do our divination, we see what's coming. You know what I'm saying? Now tell me, if it came up in your divination and you see that there's going to be a, a situation with an accident, you know what I'm saying, and Ifa tells you to give yourself a cleansing on top of Ogun, you're going to do it, you know what I mean? Ifa gives you the heads up for everything. Ifa tells you if you're getting in Brujao, if someone's doing Brujeria, who's doing Brujeria to you? Tells you everything. Orula is, there is no body like Orula. He is, you know... That's why, you know, it's the secretos of Orula, and that's why it's important when you take Orula into your house, you treat your whole house like a temple. You know what I'm saying? Like in my Ile, my padre, you know, which I didn't even, you know, really practice too much, but my padre was like, nah, you can't be drinking in your house. You got to drink outside your house. You know, and I was like, well, I don't drink anyway too much, you know what I'm saying? But he's like, yeah, you can't be drinking. That's, any, that's, for, that's where Orula lives, you know what I mean? So it's, you know, it's, you got to take it to the, you know, the respect that it deserves. You know, this religion is, you know, it'll help you like, <clears throat> you know, like nothing else could. This religion is all, is, uh, all is, a, is all about empowering yourself, how to make yourself better, how to make your life better, how to, you know, and knowledge, gaining knowledge, you know. I was actually watching a show today about the Roman Catholic Church and, how for, you know, hundreds of years they persecuted, you know, science, you know what I mean? The Roman Catholic Church, if instead of persecuting, if they would have embraced science, Galileo, you know, Isaac Newton, all these people, they would have, we would be probably much further than what we are now, but instead they slaughtered them and said, labeled them heretics, you know what I mean? So... That's where the whole fear came in, like, oh, God, that's evil, that's witchcraft, you'll burn in hell. That all came from the Catholic Church, you know, and then after on, uh, you know, Martin Luther broke off the Catholic Church, then the Presbyterians, the Protestants, the Baptists, you know, Mormons, they all broke off, but 
essentially there was only one church and that was the Roman Catholic Church and that's why now a lot of people still have some of the thoughts that were passed down from the Catholic Church and they don't even know why you know but it's because they were originally Catholics you know so like I said to all you guys out there on YouTube I'm gonna go out today and have a little bit of time with my daughter and my wife but I wish you guys all the best, and let me know what's up. Boruboya.